And in case you're wondering how morbid obesity affects your life, it's not just how you feel mentally or physically, it's what you quite literally cannot do. She can barely reach the sink to turn on the water to wash the dishes. Coach Greg, and have you watched the Thousand Pound Sisters? If you haven't, you're not going to believe it. And if you have, you're not going to believe it either. Tammy Slatten just keeps getting bigger and bigger and more annoying. How many more months and or years does she have on this earth? We've seen her sister lose a bunch of weight and does appear to be healthier and happier, yet it still doesn't motivate her to do it herself. Well, we're gonna watch this video. We're gonna also see what Michelle McDaniel thinks about this. You know, her thoughts will probably offend you and mine will probably offend you as well. No matter what, we seem to offend people all the time, but in the end, all we want is these people to be healthy. So do you think it's really worse that we offend you or that we offend you enough to make you do something about it, to make changes in your life, to live a longer and healthier life? It's another fat chick video, 1,000 pound sisters edition. And Michelle being female can say it's a fat chick video. Imagine if I put in the title, hey, it's a fat chick probably be canceled. And so I do find it interesting how one gender can say something and the other can't. Depending on who you are and who you're speaking to, you can get away with saying whatever you want. So Amy is doing absolutely great for the most part. In four months since I had weight loss surgery, so far, I lost 124 pounds. And so Amy, she's had weight loss surgery. She's down to 282 pounds. She's losing a ton of weight. Obviously, she's healthier, and obviously, this could, in fact, extend her life. But her sister, on the other hand, she doesn't want it. She doesn't think it's important enough to take on the challenge of losing the weight. And so, obviously, Amy at 282 pounds is still obese, but it's a lot better than being over 400 pounds. It's not about being perfect, it's about being better than you are. But seeing these sisters sitting side by side on the couch, it really does give you a true appreciation of just how big Tammy really is. Consider that Amy at over 280 pounds is double the size of most women, and Tammy looks to be about double the size of Amy. That means she's four times bigger than an average female. Four times the size. Imagine what it's like to live your life four times the size. I'm getting skinny and getting healthy. I never dreamed that I would be living this good of a life. And you're all thinking, but body positivity, you can be healthy at any size. No, you can't. Who gave you that stupid idea? Healthy at any size. And then we get to Tammy, struggling to turn on the water to wash a dish. And in case you're wondering how morbid obesity affects your life, it's not just how you feel mentally or physically, it's what you quite literally cannot do. She can barely reach the sink to turn on the water to wash the dishes, let alone stand up and wash the dishes. And how do you think she's going to cook on the stove? How could she reach the knob? And if she reached the knob, is her arm gonna get burned? Four months ago, I was down to 550 pounds. Wait, since the pandemic hit, I know, slip back. And so she was doing pretty good, 550 pounds, and then the pandemic hit. And then you know how people make YouTube videos like Stephanie Buttermore saying, love yourself. It's a time to forgive yourself. It's a pandemic. Just sit on your ass, eat chips, forgive yourself. Well, she probably watched that or other videos like it or other TV shows say, hey, it's okay. And she gained a lot of weight. But oh, Coach Greg, you're such an evil human being for telling people to get off your ass and go for a freaking walk and put the fork down. Look at how difficult it is for Tammy to get around. Think of it, if you weigh over 600 pounds, could you walk around? Put on 400 pounds on your back and try to walk around all day. How far are you gonna get? I weigh close to 200 pounds and if I had to walk around with over 400 pounds on my back all day long, I'd be sitting my ass down too. No way am I going for a walk. 400 pound squat bar on my back. You need to be freaking jacked, super strong to handle that kind of weight. So imagine the difficulty in her just getting up to go to the washroom. It would be so difficult. Sometimes you might be thinking, yeah, it's not, it's not worth it. I'm just going to bathroom here. And I wouldn't want to put anyone else in a position to have to take care of me for doing that to myself because in the end, you're the only one that's making you eat. 
No one's forcing you to eat that. You can put the fork down at any time if you really wanted to. Since COVID, people are stuck at home and can't go nowhere now, I know how I feel. And no, Tammy, just because of the time of the cold and a lot of things were shut down, we don't know how you feel. Just because we can't go to local bar, restaurants, and so on, doesn't mean you know how to feel. I don't think most people know what it's like to weigh 650 pounds and be unable to walk to the bathroom effectively or turn on the stove or wash dishes. We don't know what it's like just because we're perhaps stuck at home because of the pandemic doesn't mean that we know what it's like to be you. Imagine she's a female, I'm a guy on HRT quite strong and I could barely move around if I weighed 689 pounds. Just imagine how strong this woman actually is. Imagine how easily she could get through life if she were to lose some weight. I work so hard and I just don't know if it's going to pay off. 631.3. That's a lot. It is a lot. I'm down 60 pounds. And she lost 60 pounds in eight weeks, which frankly is very easy to do when you're at this weight. It translates into about 1% of her body weight a week. And so all she needs to do is keep doing what she's doing. It's clearly working for her. So Tammy is feeling absolutely great. She feels that she can do anything. I can conquer the world. Small successes added up over time can lead to reaching your goal. You don't have to lose 100 pounds in one month. You can slowly lose this weight. And over the course of a year, two years, you can continue to reach that goal. Anything as in check yourself out of rehab after only eight weeks. Tammy, are you sure that you're ready to go home on your own without support and face all the temptations when you get there by yourself? She's going to go home, all the temptations, other people possibly wanting to feed her. You know, there's people that love really obese women in this world. And so they're gonna wanna fatten her up, eat more, I love your body, get to a thousand pounds. That's what I really love. If you loved her that much, you wouldn't be trying to convince her to weigh a thousand pounds. You'd be trying to help her to lose weight. So you can say, oh, I love her, I'm gonna help her, I'm gonna feed her. But if you love someone enough, do what it takes to help them to lose the weight. And so with fast food restaurants readily available on speed dial, how easy do you think it's gonna be for her to lose weight? To avoid those temptations. She doesn't have my cookbook. Imagine, she's sitting at home, weighing close to 700 pounds, doesn't have my cookbook. She had the cookbook, she can eat all those delicious meals, feel full, satisfied, and lose weight. The only way to gain weight is by being in a surplus. She can eat as much as she wants, not be in a surplus, and lose weight. All you really need to do is be in a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter the diet that you're on, all that matters is that you lose weight. You have to get that meal prep and not order out and stay in your calorie count diet. And frankly, I do have to disagree here. They're saying you have to stick to your diet, stick to your meal prep. It's not gonna work. She wants to eat burgers. You're saying she can't have burgers. She says, oh, uh, maybe I'll eat a burger, but I'll only order one. And they're saying they can't do that. Does this woman really look like one burger is gonna hurt her diet? Even if it's one every single day, do you really think one burger a day from fast food is gonna prevent her from losing weight? Really? She's over 600 pounds. How many calories do you think she needs to eat today to sustain that weight? It's a lot. She can eat a burger every single meal and lose weight. So the diet that she should follow is the diet she's willing to follow for the rest of your life. You make that too strict, chicken, broccoli, and rice, this vegetable salad, she ain't following it. She's gonna go off the diet and go back to eating whatever she wants. If I was to order out, it'd be like one burger and not anything else. Oh, heck. who thinks that Tammy is going to just eat one burger? Frankly, I don't think she's going to eat only one burger, but even if it was three burgers, I still think she's losing weight eating three burgers at every meal. Sorry, I think she's eating so much food that all she has to do is not eat till the point of being sick and she'll lose weight. If I just get one burger mm -hmm. a day. I'm sorry, but to me, one burger a day, if that's all she's gonna eat and everything else is on point, she's gonna lose weight and probably faster than 60 pounds in eight weeks. I can't express how easy it is to lose weight when you're this big. When you're close to single digit body fat and you're trying to lose weight, it is hard. But when you're 500 pounds or more, it's very easy to get in that deficit and you can in fact do so by just making small changes. You don't have to magically change your entire way of eating all the time. One small change. 
If you're eating three burgers and three large fries, eat two burgers, two large fries, and an orange. You're gonna lose weight just from that, trust me. I had an emergency surgery on my leg, which pretty much kept me kind of bedridden for 45 days. During that time, I gained 40 pounds. And her brother of Chris, he's gained 40 pounds in six weeks because he was bedridden, had some form of surgery. And how many of us have experienced that? Has any of us not gone through tough times, surgeries, been sick, having problems? But what you do, it's on you. I had a broken elbow, never stopped doing cardio, just kept going. I've had broken elbows in the past, hernia surgeries, hip operations, you name it. I've suffered from things that I don't like. But is it the time to make excuses and to love yourself and just say, I'll get it next time. I'll start exercising next month, next year. No, stop making excuses not to do something and find reasons why you should. It's that easy. Yeah, surgery sucks, can't move, sucks. Doesn't mean you should start eating more calories. I'm gonna focus on myself and Gage. I wanna get a six pack. And so Amy wants to get a six pack. We need to stop thinking about trying to get six packs and having realistic goals halfway to that dream physique. Yeah, we get it. You would love to have a six pack, but if you're 400 pounds trying to get to a six pack, it's not a reasonable goal. Get halfway there. Halfway is more than enough to make a lifelong change in your health and extend your life. Call your medicine in. I can't do it, Amy. Tell them that. Short call. Tell them that. I'm filming. And the one thing I don't understand is how people allow themselves to be enablers. Amy doesn't have to help Tammy. She doesn't have to do it. She's trying to help her get her medications done, buying her gifts, helping her to be independent. And she just keeps calling her stupid, hating on her, telling her shut up and so on. I'd be like, I'm done. You do you. How has it worked in the past? Has it helped her to lose the weight and keep it off? Or has it in fact gotten worse? So you might think you're helping her by helping her, but helping her is actually not helping her. So I'm not Amy, but if I were, I'd be like, you're on your own. Good luck with that. Have a nice life. Come see me when you've lost some weight and actually care about living. I'm not going to help you to kill yourself, which is quite literally what's happening. It's no different than if you're addicted to drugs, addicted to alcohol, addicted to anything. If you keep helping that person, they learn to take advantage of you, they keep using you, and they continue to get worse and worse on this downward spiral until death. That's it, I'm done. I told her three times. If I was her, I'd say, come see me when you're ready to apologize and start losing the weight and start giving a shit about your life. And if you're not, I'm done. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. GregDuset IP Pro. Please watch the boobs. Harder than last time supplements. You can get those. Terkestrones included in that. Also, cookbooks. You have no idea how much that can change your life. Allow you to lose weight. Keep it off while being full satisfied. Please click the link in the description. You want that? Also, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. And until next time, I'm out.